If you have ever fallen on an outstretched hand, also known as a fush injury, then perhaps you have suffered a collase fracture. A collase fracture is a fracture of the wrist bones, where the bones are displaced. A collase fracture typically requires surgery to reduce, and you may have a long period of immobilization in a cast or splint after the injury. Physical therapy for a collase fracture involves improving wrist and arm range of motion and strength in order to maximize functional mobility in your arm. Your physical therapist will perform specific treatments to help you regain normal mobility in your arm and wrist. One important component of your collase fracture rehab is the home exercise program. Those exercises that you perform independently at home to help augment your physical therapy treatments before starting this or any other exercise program. Be sure to check in with your healthcare provider to ensure that it is safe for you to do. Wrist range of motion. After wearing a cast or a splint on your wrist while your collase fracture was healing, you may have noticed that the muscles and joints around your wrist feel tight. This is normal, and your first exercises after removal of your cast should be geared towards regaining wrist range of motion. To start regaining wrist range of motion, one hold your arm out in front of you, two slowly bend your hand and fingers up as if you were signaling for someone to stop, three grab your hand with your non-injured hand, and gently add overpressure by pulling your hand and fingers back, four hold the position for five seconds, and then relax, five repeat the stretch for five repetitions, six flex your wrist down while holding your arm in front of you, seven, gently add overpressure by grasping your hand and Bending it further into flexion hold this position for 5 seconds, 8 repeat it 5 times. Your physical therapist may also prescribe exercises to work on, turning your hand over as if you were pouring a pitcher of water or carrying a bowl of soup. These advanced wrist stretches can be started later. Your initial focus should be on gaining wrist flexion and extension. Hand Grip Exercises once your healthcare provider removes your cast after your collase fracture has healed, you may notice that your ability to grip things is diminished. Your PT may prescribe specific exercises to help improve your hand grip strength. Exercises to improve hand grip may include isometric towel gripping, hand grip exercises with a DG flex device, and putty gripping exercises. When performing gripping exercises, be sure to hold each repetition for a few seconds and grip with slow deliberate motions, perform each exercise for 10 to 15 repetitions. Putty exercises for thumb and fingers. To help improve the strength of your fingers after a collase fracture, your physical therapist may prescribe putty exercises to perform, your PT may give you some putty, or you can buy some silly putty, or make your own at home, squeeze the putty between your thumb and fingers and then squeeze it between two individual fingers. You can also roll the putty into a long tube, shape it into a ring, and place the ring around your fingers to work on extending your fingers against resistance. Wrist and forearm strengthening. After a collase fracture, the muscles around your wrist and forearm may be weak, due to the injury and the period of time your wrist was immobilized. Your physical therapist may prescribe wrist strengthening exercises with a dumbbell to help improve your strength. Remember to start slow with a light weight. Once you can perform 15 to 20 pounds of a particular wrist strengthening exercise, you can progress to a heavier weight. Check in with your PT to ensure that you are using the proper resistance for your specific condition. A collase fracture can be a painful injury that causes significant functional limitations in your hand and arm. Learning the right exercises to do can help you regain normal functional use of your arm and hand. By working hard in physical therapy, and by being diligent with your exercises, you can be sure to quickly and safely get back to your maximum potential. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.